creative mommy of two and welcome or welcome back it has been yet another week so we are go going to do a new web and chat web stands for work in progress in case you don't know and think what the hell are you rambling on about yeah a work in progress so i grab out whatever it is that i'm working on and yeah start rambling to you so <laughs> My work in progress for this week, as you might be able to see, if you recognize the piece, is this week, again, Confetti the Cat by the artist Sandra Trubin from the company Dreamer Designs. I almost said it, said it wrong. Don't know what I wanted to say, but... <laughs> yeah. It has been of a uh, strange day today, so yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me, but yeah, if you've been here before, you know me. I ramble, I talk, basic BS. <laughs> talk very long about absolutely nothing, and yeah, again, if you know me, you know me. So <sighs> I cannot and will not apologize for being me. So. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> but yeah, how are you all doing? I hope you had a wonderful week. I hope you had some fun things to do. I hope it wasn't as crazily warm where you are than it is here, because ugh, I hate it. Warm weather in the Netherlands, it gets clammy when it's like 25 degrees Celsius. It's like Way too hot here just because the fact it's like yeah it feels sweaty <laughs> I know I have been in Spain when it was like over 30 degrees Celsius again and that was way more manageable than even 20 degrees Celsius here in the Netherlands so yeah and many of the weeks, well, last week, week and a half, I think it was, it was like 25, 30 something. It's, yeah. I dislike this weather. <laughs> Give me spring or fall. Because, yeah, that's manageable. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, outside of that it is being hot, my week was... Some was usual, some was painful, some was annoying, and some was just... <sighs> yeah, some was just plain irritating the living daylights out of me. For example, Friday. Because Friday... What all went wrong on Friday? Yeah, a lot, but you know, at a certain point I was like, seriously, what's what's next? Am I going to fall down the stairs and break like an arm and a leg or something? I jinxed it. I didn't fall from the stairs, but ugh. Yeah, kids had a day that they did not want to listen, so that's always fun. Um the other thing you know we had on friday like a couple of things that were like seriously one on top of the other and then this and then that and yeah did not want to cooperate you know that by the end of the day i was like nicely laying at the top trying to relax my husband from down the stairs starts yelling like damn it what the hell it's like what is it? He's like, hey, check the app from school. So it was basically like, oh no. What kind of message do we get there? If you've been here, I believe last week I talked about it. The teacher that my daughter has this year. She would not have her next year, or at least less. Because, yeah, you that teacher would be like a overall kind of teacher 
basically like wherever she was needed. Friday we got the notification that she goes to another school. So yeah, we were not happy with that because that teacher knows our daughter. She knows what's quote unquote a bit roughly said but wrong with her. And now we need to have most likely a new talk with a new teacher explaining the entire situation. Because yeah, the other teachers did have our daughter this year, but yeah, not in the same capacity as that teacher did. And that teacher was so amazing with our daughter. I do not like it. I for sure do not like it. Not that the other teachers are bad, don't get me wrong, they are still sweet, but yeah, the connection with our daughter and the teacher she has this year is just the sweetest thing to see, and yeah, it's adorable. And yeah, I'm not happy with the fact that she's going to go. Because, yeah, it will already be hard enough that our daughter needs to go to a different class and now she also needs to miss her teacher so yeah i'm not looking forward to that there's still at least he did not notify us what teacher she is going to get next year so i hope that's at least known before the end of the school year so we can prepare our daughter because yeah basically prepare is like her go-to word like basically tell everything beforehand or at least as much as possible because yeah if somebody just gets sick somebody just gets sick would be nice if i if people could be like oh next week i on wednesday at like one o'clock i will be at home because i'm sick well that would be nice i would sign up for that but yeah that would have saved me a lot of trouble over like the past month and a half in case you don't know i had a surgery and yeah recovering did not go according to plan it's now it is today tuesday the 27th so yeah i had surgery on like what 15th of may 15th 16th Day after Mother's Day here. Yeah, I'm still not fully recovered. <laughs> it's getting annoying. It's really annoying. But yeah, what can I do? <sighs> Thinking my brain is like almost gone. Because, yeah, basically every day at the moment looks the same for me. Because, yeah, I'm not doing much. <laughs> and yeah, that's getting... It's getting to me. But yeah, on Saturday we also went to my parents. Because the week before was my dad's birthday. But, as I explained last week, we had a little bit of car trouble. So, yeah we couldn't ride that distance so yeah we went this week good thing was that now they my parents could directly see or well choose whatever our daughter wanted for her birthday because that's actually what i'm filming today so yeah my daughter is five yeah, like if I'm looking at the clock, it's nine o'clock. Well, five years ago, I was at the hospital and yeah, they needed to see like how everything moved because yeah, contractions scouting did get too much. So yeah, and with our daughter being breech, yeah, it was a little bit more uh, dangerous to just sit up and move around. So yeah, they needed to check out everything before. Yeah. It went wrong 
but everything went well, so I could just move around. And yeah, at that point it was just waiting to for the operating room to be cleared out, so I could go in. <laughs> so yeah, tonight at like a little bit before 10.30, she will be officially five years out of me. <laughs> But yeah, as my husband and I said over the past few years, a lot of times a day can feel kind of long, but a month or a year is flying by. But yeah, as I was saying, like my parents wanted, I gave them the option to like go with us to a toy store and let our daughter just basically free range <laughs> and see whatever the hell she wanted. She, in the end, decided on a stuffed animal, a big one. She loves stuffed animals, like seriously. That girl has a passion for stuffed animals. In the end, she, d she got two. She got lucky. She got very lucky. Because, yeah, there were two that she was like going back and forward between. One was a bit more expensive, one was not like really expensive, expensive, but more expensive than the other one and the other was just like a small one so we're like you can choose or the big one or something else and the small one and my dad was like you know what just grab them both it will be fine i'm like you sure she doesn't need to have everything she likes I'm like, yeah i'm sure it's like okay if you want to so yeah now she has two new stuffed animals <laughs> But yeah, she can basically throw a stuffed animal party, which we actually do every now and then. And we get like on her floor, we grab out whatever stuffed animal we can find, throw it on the floor, and yeah, let them have fun with it. So yeah, we did that and got some lunch for with our parents stay there they had a little kiddie pool there so the kids could splash around in the water which they loved when we needed to go back home they were really really badly behaving so we're like nope no mcdonald's today because yeah if you can't behave we are not going to go because yeah, it's fine that one day behave that we treat them to McDonald's every time we go from our parents back home. It's no problem, but as soon as we say like, hey, it's time to clear out and clean everything up and we need to go home. And they start throwing temper tantrums, then yeah, they can forget it. <laughs> I might be mean, but yeah. I'm not going to let the kids decide whatever we do. Or every now and then, that's okay, but they do need to behave for it. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a mean parent. Sorry, not sorry. But yeah, also it's like a thing that like structure is really good for our daughter. But yeah, she also needs to learn that if she is misbehaving, she will not get her way. Because she does not also need to bully us to get what she wants. Because that's also a thing that she can do. So... That brain is way too smart for me. <laughs> In case you don't know and you're new here, well, hi. As the name suggests, I am a mom of two kids. A boy that is now three years old and a girl that's, as I said before, turning five today. And my daughter has some, yeah, I calling it behavioral issues is a little bit harsh, but yeah. Let's just call it her IQ levels are not in sync with each other. Her brain is good. Her brain is above average. But not everything is in sync with each other. Which means she basically, as her teacher would call it, she has an error. <laughs> so that sometimes it's just like talking to a wall, like literally. Because she does, sometimes doesn't react or does not know how to 
to do the, the thing that you ask of her and gets really distracted and if her like system gets thrown around I hear crying I'm gonna go hold on for a bit okay and I'm back <coughs> excuse me so yeah little one started to cry out of nothing and you know like most of the times when he cries at night you basically need to be with two people to play detective like he talks but sometimes it's like talking in riddles because <laughs> yeah it's not very clear what he wants so yeah i was like you know what i'm just going to go upstairs Hopefully we figure it out sooner what's bothering him. He was saying he didn't feel good, he was a little bit ill, but yeah, he's two. That's well, three now. <laughs> Still getting used to seeing that he's three. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, that's sometimes a little bit hard. Yeah, I was also thinking just when I walked out, so I already told it to my husband like a couple of weeks ago, he was also like fussy when he was in bed. And at that point, he had like sort of like runny ears, like around that time. So like maybe it's that. So in case he starts screaming again, maybe we need to check that again to see if that's not the issue. So. Yeah, we're just going to see. Yeah, it was in the evening. He was also already like kind of fussy. So, yeah. Yeah, what was what was I talking about? Oh yeah, something like uh, our daughter's behavior. Like she really needs her structure. So. At least for now, it looks like uh, when she has really good structures, she, she basically knows what to expect and stuff like that. So that's helping her out a lot. So yeah, that will be fun for on the vacation in a couple of weeks. So yeah, no fun. I know I said it before, but yeah. Still, I'm going to try to see for some fun things for her to do and stuff like that, but yeah, hopefully I'm like fully, fully recovered by then, but oh well, we'll see. Today yeah, it was also like a day of like seriously. <laughs> so I needed to bring a package to the post office and I didn't really think about it because many of the stores like in our area in weekdays are open like at nine o'clock didn't think of it that when i went well it was there it was 9 30. that particular store did not open until 10. <laughs> so yeah good thing for me was that i still needed to be somewhere very close to it so good thing here in the netherlands many things are walkable so <laughs> At least like when you are like for at least like stores it's not like you have a store and then you need to drive like 10 kilometers to be like at a house at least there might be stores that have that problem but at least not here in my area but yeah so that was no fun i needed to walk around with a package luckily it wasn't too big and too heavy but still it was annoying Good thing that the store we needed to go to had shopping carts, so I at least had my hands free. Even though I still needed to entertain the kiddo. Because, yeah, not only was at school, but our son's still at home. He can go hopefully in like March or April. So, yay! <laughs> but yeah, so that was fun. I found out on the way back home that the shoes I've had put on were digging into my foot. So 
instead of creating blisters, it just rub it open. So yeah, my feet are killing me at the moment, which I also not like. <laughs> Obviously, my body is hurting me enough already, so I don't need that. <laughs> Yeah, just before lunch I was doing the litter boxes, which is not a strange thing when you have two cats, but came down in the basement and found out that one of our freezers door the door was apparently slightly open. Good thing it was a small freezer, not a big one. But yeah, basically half of whatever was in there we could throw away. The thing like the bottom freezer of the bottom drawer of the freezer was so that it basically sat right on top of the coldest element so it was sort of safe but <laughs> yeah we could throw out some stuff so partially because we're like yeah if that starts freezing over again like the french fries that will create a mess because yeah that's getting more ice in it which obviously also means more yeah moisture that goes out when it goes in the fryer so yeah that's kind of dangerous so yeah luckily it was just one bag but still it was annoying <sighs> So well, that was no fun. So yeah, <laughs> I also wanted to find some cupcake mix to bake with our daughter. Well, basically bake for our daughter. And I wanted to make some like cute cat cupcakes, but yeah, I couldn't find everywhere anywhere these. Well. I went to one store because my body can handle more, but not when I at least need to be driving myself. But that store didn't have like the sugar eyes. They didn't have cupcake mix, so I was like, oh dang it, I need to go somewhere else. So husband and I decided to like don't bake today. Wanted to bake in the evening something like a Dutch thing, like the on bed cook which is basically like a kind of gingerbread kind of contraption maybe i'll one day make a video of me making it so you can make it at home because it's kind of easy and nice i love it <laughs> it's basically become a staple in our house so yeah yeah so husband and i decided to just wait get on the ingredients like Friday or something we do need to go to another store that's like walk distance from our house tomorrow most likely so maybe we find it there but yeah since we are also doing like our daughter's birthday party for like fam the family we decided to bake the van and then our daughter can help because she loves to bake so yeah i'm also like eyeballing like a lot of cookbooks and especially like ice cream recipes because i do have a ice cream machine not the ones where you need to freeze in an element no like the fully self-freezing expensive as hell kind of things but yeah, I have never found a recipe for something my husband and I like. Sometimes it occurs that one of us likes something, but not both of us. But yeah, we tried vanilla because we're like, oh, most likely that's the most easiest and you can add other stuff. But yeah, it's kind of hard. So we're deciding like, I am eyeballing now like a few, like basically master chef books from like the big names to see if that helps because if i can make those then yeah all help is all 
all is lost, so. <laughs> yeah. But those books are hella expensive. I have now one that I'm eyeballing. It's from a kind of known Dutch chef. And yeah, that book is 50 euro. So yeah, that's kind of expensive for a cookbook. So yeah. So I most likely will be eyeballing that for a while. <laughs> Maybe that one or one of the like other books in the quote unquote series. I will get that for like Christmas or something, but we'll see, we'll see. I don't hold my hopes up and we'll see how far we get. So yeah. But yeah, for the rest of the week. As I said, we have on Saturday a party for our daughter. Friday will most likely be a little bit of cleaning. I'm trying to get a head start already. Since our freezer was already basically bad, I am cleaning that out tomorrow. I actually need to do that today, but I did not have the energy before because I needed to do that after dinner because before it wasn't completely defrosted. So yeah. Yeah, so need to do that tomorrow. Daughter is at home tomorrow, the entire day from school because um, they have like a teacher study day. But in the afternoon, we do have a like parent teacher talk kind of thingy. So yeah, <laughs> so there's that. So, kiddos are at the parents, well, the in-laws, tomorrow afternoon, so maybe that I'm going to ask them, like, can they keep them here for, like, the afternoon, because then I can also do, like, the birthday stuff, at least partially. Because, yeah, if I think I get an advance, I can get an advance, and, yeah, Friday is also a day that the kids, are, well, our kids, our daughter is not at school, so... Yeah, it's easy if I can do a lot then. So, yeah, that's the thing I need to decide on tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, my recovering so far is not going the greatest, as I said before. But at least I am able to do at least something. I started last week on my time lapses again, so yay, I finally started filming again after like more as five weeks. Because yeah, I filmed one for well yeah, I had one completed. I believe I saw it was like the 13th of May. I didn't start a new project after that because I knew that I had surgery on like 15th or 16th. But yeah, it's still waiting to be <laughs> filmed for a review. So yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Still have another video I want to review. Little two little small projects, or well, basically three. And yeah, I have a couple of unboxings I need to film, but that will be most likely for next week or the week after or the week after or whatever. Because most of the times I do like one long time lapse whip and chat video and a whip and chat and a time lapse. If I really have nothing to ramble on about, I do like a week nothing for whip and chats. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I got a package in this week, so I do have a few unboxings. If you want to have a spoiler, they are from the same company as this one, so if you have paid attention, you know what is coming. You don't know what paintings, but at least you know the company. <laughs> I still have eyeballing some other things. Again, still eyeballing some other companies. So, yeah, most likely I will have a lot coming for the couple of weeks. Yeah, this month, for this year, I most likely will have some things from like outside of the EU. And then most likely it will be done. But we'll see what the future brings. But yeah, <clears throat> felt 
like there was something stuck in my throat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to move on with filming the rest of my filming marathon because, yeah, I have not filmed much in the past couple of weeks, so yeah, it piled up a bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's not much of a marathon, it's just now two reviews I'm going to do today, both in Dutch and in English, so yeah. I'm going to go now because I've said that enough. If you like this rambling video as per usual, you know all the YouTube stuff. Give the video a like, a thumbs up. Wait, what? A like and a thumbs up is both the same. You know what I mean. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, hit the bell if you need to, and oh yeah, if you want to, not need to. And yeah, if you like this rambling, stick around. I have a lot more. I even have a an entire playlist on the channel in case you are new so in case you don't want to watch all videos most likely next week will be another one but yeah as i said i for like a lot of times today i am going to go now <laughs> i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day rest of your week and i hope to see you in a next video bye